forests are suffering from long drought periods and uh, high temperatures, causing common tree species to shut down their body functions and drop their desiccated leaves early in the season. And sometimes these trees do not recover and actually die. So, however, restoration is necessary not only on disturbed land, but also required for de uh, degraded forest ecosystems. Also there, the aim is to make forests healthy and fully functional again, so that forests can again provide all the important ecosystem services like clean air and water, carbon storage, uh, wood production, support of human health and well-being and what fortunately has received a lot of attention recently, be again the home of the wealth of animal and plant species that naturally live in our forests. Restoration by far does not uh, only mean restoring uh, to a previous state, because the previous state may have actually contributed to the severity of the disaster, like uh, monocultures or uh, inappropriate tree species choice. So restoration instead often targets a more natural forest state with a higher structural and functional diversity that uh, makes the forest more resilient. Because climate change is progressing and even natural forests may be suffering, it is important to plan ahead and maybe find uh, better adapted species and tree genetic materials. EFI's resilience program, we aim at the understanding the dynamics of forest disturbances and the traits and characteristics that make a forest landscape less vulnerable to disturbances. That's the important uh, first step of forest restoration and the adaptation to rapidly changing conditions. Forest restoration is by far not only a scientific question, but it really needs policymakers that can set, well informed by science, the suitable framework and initiatives. And most importantly, we also need the forest managers and practitioners, those working out there in the forest, to be integrated into a process of finding solutions because they have the wealth of experience what actually works and what doesn't work in practice. So we in uh, EFI's resilience program eventually aim for is that forest practitioners have all the knowledge they need to restore and sustainably manage European forests. And in times of rapid change and big challenges, this is really crucial. And also that the forest policy provides a framework that allows foresters to actually do the required work in an ecologically as well as in an economically feasible manner. So because in the resilience program we are not satisfied with envisioning healthy uh, functional forests, but we actually want to see them grow. First and foremost, we need to talk to each other at eye level so that each side can recognize the hard work of the other side on finding out and doing what is needed to restore and adapt our forests. Therefore, we need regular opportunities for exchange. For this, we ideally move to places where everyone feels comfortable and inspired. From our experience, regular meetings in the forest are very valuable for both sides to discuss the issues out there, also with the concerned communities. This allows participants to learn and gain mutual trust and bring knowledge to action. 